small denomination big money welcome welcome dear coin as viewers in today's video i'll be showing several us coins that recently sold for an impressive sums at heritage auctions if you happen to own one of those gems you'll definitely want to watch till the end to know their true market value before we dive in make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on all things coin related on our channel let's get rolling this is an exquisite and enchanting coin once destined to be mere pocket change but now a prize piece in someone's collection behold the attractively taught 1947 lincoln set in superb gem condition featuring fully struck motifs graded mid-state 68 full bands by ngc this coin is a true rarity while the mintage of times at philadelphia that year fell to less than half of the previous year's output this issue remains common across all grades up to MS67. Most examples are somewhat weakly struck and show considerable die erosion from overuse. Coins displaying full bands or full torch features are a minority among the surviving population, though they are more likely to be submitted for grading. This particular specimen with its breathtaking neon blue hues and sharply defined design element sold for $960 on July 15, 2024 at heritage auctions. The 1937 proof sends a share, a similarity to the brilliant proofs of 1936, a fact reflected in significantly higher sales of proof coins during that year. Despite these, the 1937 proof cents are still relatively scarce compared to the millions of proofs coined annually since the 1960s. The mint's improved technique in polishing the dies resulted in a small percentage of these coins displaying striking cameo contrast between the brilliant fields cameo and ultra or deep cameo coins or are indeed rare and highly coveted by collectors. This beautiful specimen, graded PR65 read by PCGS, stands out with its eye-catching appeal, and it was sold for $252 on July 16, 2024. The 1947D Washington Quarter in Mint State 67 Plus, graded by NGC, is a highly sought-after coin, noted for its exceptional preservation and attractive toning. This coin struck at the Denver Mint features a composition of 90% silver and 10% copper. The MS67 Plus grade indicates superior luster and eye appeal, with very few surface imperfections. Recently, this particular coin sold for $432 at heritage auctions on July 15, 2024. Collectors highly value such coins for their historical significance, aesthetic appeal, and investment potential, making the attractively tall 1947 D. Washington Quarter a prized addition to any collection. The new Jefferson Nichols were not released until the late in 1938, and even then the coins were difficult to obtain in quantity. As collectors and speculators sought uh, to put away complete rolls of fresh coins, this situation was frustrating for about a year or so. Finally, remaining stocks of buffalo nickels were depleted, and the 1938 Jefferson nickels became common and were hoarded by the roll. This issue is readily available in all grades through MS67, and there are enough MS67 coins to meet the demands of the most competitive collectors. The original master hub for this type's reverse was indistinct in the portico and steps of Monticello. So coins certified with five full steps are rare and six full steps coins are all but unknown according to NGC. This MS67 specimen with five full steps was sold for $252 on July 23rd, 2024. Collectors of Proof Roosevelt Times should be on lookout for this error variety. Here is 1950 10 cent piece with double die reverse, graded as PR67 DDR with designation of FS801 by PCGS. As reported by Bill Flivas, a strong spread is evident on torch, leaves, and epluribus to the east, and um, leaves and flame to the west. The 1950 10 cent double die reverse in proof 67 grade is a rare and valuable error coin. This proof time features a double die reverse where design elements appear double due to minting error. 
The FS801 designation identifies a specific type of double die. Graded PR67, this coin exhibits superb luster and sharp detail typical of a high-grade proof. Collectors prize this coin for its rarity and distinctive error, making it a standout piece in any collection. Its high grade and error status significantly enhance its value and desirability. The typical 1928 S nickel is softly struck with average to good luster, unlike the S mint nickels of earlier years. This weakness is usually not due to the use of extremely worn dyes. It appears that the planches were not properly softened or die set distance was greater than it should have been. As the softness is uniform on both sides of the coins, gems are elusive for this issue. A number of mean state pieces have been found that are darker than normal and this points to the problems with planchet stock. Worn examples are plentiful from widespread hoarding of the late 1930s through early 1960s. The Zama 64 graded specimen was sold for $1,680. On July 23, 2024, a shield penny sold for astounding price. This modern specimen was sold for over $4,600 recently at Great Collections Auction. The 2000 D Lincoln Sand Shield graded MS67 red by PCGS as a top quality coin notable for its exceptional condition and vibrant red color. Struck at the Denver Mint, this coin features shield reverse design introduced in 2010 to symbolize union strength and unity. The MS67 Plus grade indicates that the coin is nearly flawless with superb luster and eye appeal. The RD designation signifies its original red color, highly prized by collectors. This high-grade specimen is valuable addition to any collection, representing the finest quality in modern Lincoln sense. With America's entry into the World War II seemingly inevitable, the nation boosted defense production for both the domestic and export markets. The West Coast benefited greatly from the increased economic activity, and the San Francisco Mint nearly doubled its output of quarter dollars over 1940. At the same time, all current issues were routinely saved by the BU role. S mint coins received an extra speculative interest, so the 1941 S quarter is common in grades through MS67, according to NGC. Quality control issues have limited the number of higher graded examples. Many 1941 S quarters were struck from worn dies, having great luster but few details. This attractively toned specimen graded as MS67 Plus by NGC was sold for staggering $576 recently at RTG auctions.